I think this is the best way to train the hip flexors. With the cable machine, we're actually loading the longest muscle length. When you look at sprinting, you'll realize that the hip flexors have to be strongest with the knee back behind the hip. So when the thigh is behind the body at the longest muscle length, that's when we need the hip flexors to be the strongest. Yuri Verkoshansky figured out you can't do that with a band. At the time people were doing it with the band, this is late 1900s, he started doing it by simply laying back on a bench and using a weight and driving up so that you actually got high torque at the long muscle lengths. Reason you can't do it with the band is I don't pick up tension in the band until the very top. So I'm really only training short range here, but I also can't really do it with the weight because it's not a constant resistance. So to get it off the ground, it's actually really easy and I don't really pick up torque until I'm right about here. So the weight is training mid to short range and the bands is only training short range and they're both completely neglecting the longest range and that's where we need to be the strongest in sprinting.